for me, it's first or nothing, you know. I, you don't play for second. You don't play to get out of groups. You play to win. Um, as far as the, the tournament was concerned here at DreamHack, um, I, I played fairly well uh, for the first two days. I had the easiest group, so that wasn't very difficult. Um, I was actually kind of concerned that it was the easiest because then I might not be as warmed up as other players. Um, but I just took some extra time to make sure that uh, I was in some good shape heading into the playoffs since it's single a limb. It's very important to perform your best. You only get one shot. Um, so going into the playoffs, I had to play Kilson first in the quarterfinals. And um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty tough set. Uh, some very unique games, just how they played out. Uh, I managed to win 3-1 and advance to the semifinals um, where I ended up playing Avec and um, going into this tournament, I knew that Avec was in really, really great shape, and um, I, I didn't expect to win 3-0 at all. I, I won really decisively on the second map, um, but the first, the, the first and the third were very, very close, especially the last one. It went into o overtime. Um, yeah, and of course, you know, you have the news after the game, not like immediately after, but later he decided to retire from Quake, et cetera, so... Um, it was kind of sad to see that, but at the same time, I mean, he's got to do what he's got to do. Um, and then, obviously, he played in the finals today against Evil. Uh, he managed to knock out Cypher in the semifinals uh, in a great set of five games. And uh, today in the finals, uh, he, he beat me 3-1. And I feel like if we played yesterday when I was, like, on a roll and I was playing very well, um, I think it would have went to at least five maps for sure. And... Uh, I don't. I can't say I would have won, you know, downright or anything like that. Um, but today, it was one of those things where when he made mistakes, like it's not like he didn't make mistakes. He did, but I didn't take advantage of them. And when he saw, you know, me make some mistakes, you know, he punished me for it. So, and that's what ended up leading, you know, to his victory today. Was he was the one that um, capitalized more often than I did. Um, yeah, and uh, I mean, obviously, it's a bummer not to win, but. I'm happy for him. It's his first overall, you know, title in Quake uh, as far as an international land. Um, he hasn't had a chance to go to as many because it's very expensive to, to travel from Russia uh, to these other places. But um, uh, all his hard work paid off, and he really proved himself today. I mean, DreamHack is pretty crazy. There are so many people here at this event, whether they're here as pro players um, whether they're here for the huge BYOC, I mean, it's massive. Or whether they're here, you know, to, to be here for the vendors, like to walk around and get free stuff or, you know, just find out about everything. Um, and then lately, since, you know, streaming has picked up in the past few years as well, there are so many people that come just to watch the games. And there's so many booths set up for StarCraft II and other games like that where the casters are constantly casting the games all day. Um, and people get to watch and enjoy and to see their favorite players play all the time. And I, th I think that's a really good thing that needs to happen at other events, you know, if it's not already. Um, but this event, it's always, <laughs> it's always very difficult because, especially in the winter, there's like, you get up, you barely see any sunlight, you come here, and then it's dark, you know, by the time you get to go outside again. And um, it's definitely a struggle to battle through it because... Uh, not just, you know, like um, with the lighting and everything, but uh, just all circumstances involved. It's a very tiring event. Like you end up feeling like really worn down. So to be able to try to challenge yourself to battle through it and to not let circumstances, you know, take advantage of you um, is, is a very unique test. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like coming here. It's, it's really nice to be here in Yanchiping. And um, yeah, uh, it's a good event. <laughs> Well, right now, currently, uh, for the past month to a month and a half, I've been playing a lot of Shoot Mania. Um, I got an invite from IPL saying, hey, we want to invite you and whatever team that you put together, and you'll go to the event. You know, like, you'll be our invite team. You know, all the other teams, they'll qualify or whatever. So, you know, as soon as I found that out, you know, I took it very, very seriously. You know, I wasn't going to let just a free ride, um, you know, pass me by. So me and my team have been uh, putting in a lot of work. I actually feel pretty confident that we've made really, really good strides in the amount of time that we've played compared to these other teams that have been playing a lot longer than us. Um, and, you know, I know the fact that the, the guys that I picked, Id and Clock, they've 
they've got experience in Quake as well, you know, and at big tournaments and shining in, you know, the big moments. So um, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really excited for it. And um, if there's any good tournaments for Shoot Mania afterwards, like you know, I'll, I'll probably keep playing. You know, I, I do enjoy the game. Um, it's a nice change of pace from Quake. It's not one versus one. You know, it's a team based game. And uh, I really like, you know, working with teammates and getting a chance to play that instead of just by myself. Um, and yeah, as of right now, IPL five is the big event that I'll be going to. Um, anything after that, I don't know. I, there might be a couple quake events in the summer. And if I manage to have some time to go and to play, um, then I will, if I feel like I have enough time to prepare to get first place, uh, because for me, it's first or nothing, you know, I'm, you don't play for a second. You don't play to get out of groups. You play to win. Um, so if I feel I have that opportunity, then I will go do it. If not, then I'll just have to pass and I'll focus on other things. Um, I mean, SK Gaming has stuck by me since 2008, you know, and as far as I know, I think I'm the longest tenured player that they have right now. And um, it's been really great to play for them and the support that they've given me. Um, and I know a lot of sponsors change for gaming teams over the years, but I know like Kingston and Steel Series have been there for a long time now, as long as I can remember. Um, and the stuff that they do to help out SK and you know all the other sponsors that are coming on. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that they give me the opportunity to go out here, um, pay for my trips and all that stuff, uh, so I get a chance to perform. And um, yeah, just really appreciative. Yeah. <laughs>